I spent so much time grilling up the perfectly marbled Wagyu beef medallions that are the news in my monologue over there. But sometimes it's nice to hack off the fat and the gristle, mix it up with generous helpings of corn and beet pulp to make the can of news dog food that is my segment. Meanwhile... So, it never fails. They always, always are excited for Meanwhile. Oh, it's amazing. Meanwhile, for the, meanwhile mania. It's amazing, man. People love it. Meanwhile. <laughs> Great news for Constance Wu and her hit show, Fresh Off the Boat. It was announced on Friday that it's being renewed for a sixth season. So an overjoyed Wu went straight on Twitter to gush, so upset right now that I'm literally crying, ugh, <laughs> and <laughs> hell. <laughs> and under the network's announcement on Instagram, she wrote, dislike. Well, that'll be a fun first day back on set. Hey, everybody, so excited to be back. We're family. Now, which family member pooped in my dressing room? <laughs> no one knew why this upset her. And after a backlash accusing Wu of ingratitude, she tweeted, y'all are making a lot of assumptions about what I was saying, and no, it's not what it's about. Stop assuming. Yeah, y'all stop assuming this was about the renewal just because a fan tweeted at her, congrats on your renewal, great news. And she tweeted back, no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, stop taking her words in context. <laughs> then Wu cleared everything up, tweeting this long clarification that she was angry because the renewal meant she had to give up another project that I was really passionate about and that other project would have challenged me as an artist, adding even my closest friends are baffled at how I could value artistic slash challenge slash difficulties over success slash happiness, but I do. I know it's weird. In fact, even as I tweet this, my closest friends are giving me this really baffled look and waving their arms and doing this because <laughs> I'm such an artist. <laughs> but weirdest of all was that she wrapped it all up with, it's meaningful when you make the choice to believe women. Okay, I wasn't talking about my show, except that I was because of art, because hashtag me too. In conclusion, Black Lives Matter, gay rights or human rights, release the full report. What about Barb? <laughs> Meanwhile... Meanwhile, a Florida man got a DUI after crashing a lawnmower into a police car. Yet another headline that did not need to specify what state it happened in. Police say... Florida. Police say the suspect's driver's license has been suspended since 1978. His blood alcohol content registered 0.241, more than three times the legal limit, and that he also had cocaine in his system. Wow. When I'm bored doing yard work, I usually just listen to a podcast. <laughs> Meanwhile, a growing number of studies indicate that the conference room air may be making you dumber. Specifically, the air coming from Rick. <laughs> no one likes your idea, Rick. Stop pushing it. Since 2012, eight studies have considered the effects of CO2 accumulating from people breathing in a meeting, including one study that features a section explaining the purpose of ventilation. <laughs> you know the saying, the person conducting the laboratory study on the purpose of ventilation dealt it. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran announced they've collaborated on a new single called I Don't Care. I assume the song is about my response to their announcement. <laughs> Mr. Sharon, Mr. Sharon, please join us again. Please join us again, Mr. Sharon. Big fan. Meanwhile, in historical drug news, researchers have found ancient hallucinogens in a thousand year old shamanic pouch. Sure, they did. <laughs> I swear it's not mine, officer. I'm just holding that pouch for my friend who's an ancient shaman. The pouch was found in Bolivia and contains the earliest known evidence of ayahuasca preparation, including drugs like psilocin, a chemical component of psychedelic mushrooms, and cocaine, which explains why the cave it was found in was covered in rambling pitch ideas for a new app. <laughs> okay, it's like Uber, but for horses, and you rent the horses, but it's also a dating service that delivers food. Is anyone writing this down? <laughs> Let's go running. Let's go running. You want to run? Let's go running right now. Wow. I love you.
Meanwhile, a woman was arrested after she repeatedly tried to enter CIA headquarters and asked to speak with Agent Penis. Oh, no, man. oh lady. <laughs> that guy at the bar was not a spy. <laughs> we'll be right back with Bill Hader.